What's up guys, Lloyd here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Red Paladin. Uh, these are going to be some games that I played with Swifty, um, who was actually, like, biggest inspiration for me starting YouTube back in, uh, like, 2011, 2012, back when I was um, really not so great at WoW, but really enjoyed PvP and dueling and all that stuff. So huge shout out to Swifty. Played some Ret Rogue and some Ret Prot, so those are going to be the games that you see today. And here's my current talent setup. This is more or less my go-to. I did swap but Blessing of Sanctuary around for Law and Order. And uh, again, these are my legendaries. I'm playing my haste ret. So this is this is my alt ret paladin, not my main, um, where I'm full haste on this guy, along with, uh, I'll show my conduits real quick. Pretty much this, more or less. Um, some maps I swapped to Light Sparting. Um, and what else am I missing here? Uh, most of the games are somewhere in this 2100 rating um i'm not quite sure where our mmr ended up i didn't look um but regardless guys enjoy and i'll see you all next video peace all right this first match is against fury um ret paladin so i'm gonna go ahead and start by eye for an eyeing their cooldowns the ret sacks the fury warrior but we're gonna go ahead and attack the fury warrior anyway because uh he has the least defensive cooldowns like he can't just bubble off the vendetta uh, he gets bopped and I go ahead and blood off purge off the bop and we're just going to keep hitting the fury warrior doing big damage I'm going to trinket out of the hammer of justice and finish off the fury warrior while simultaneously getting ready to bubble myself There we go. I bubble and we're gonna heal the full and that is that against the Uret fury um, I'd say we have for the most part the advantage here because we have a uh, cloak evasion Bop and bubble versus their enrage regen and bop on the fury warrior in which case I'm also a blood elf and can um just take off the Blessing of Protection, which is another of the main reasons that we went to Fury in the first place. This next game is against a Windwalker Holy Priest. This Windwalker is pretty scary. Um, we're, you know, we are likely going to be attacking the Windwalker Monk here because he has um, the least amount of defensives versus Fly or Divine Ascension, Greater Fade, um, and you know, just a bunch of different utility spells by the Holy Priest that prevent us from killing them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end up bubbling here along with my emblem shield of vengeance. I probably should have just bubbled instead of pressing both, but, uh, I kind of had to because let's be honest, emblem shield of vengeance does not stop you from dying from a windwalker monk. Uh, at the moment, I'm just tunneling my damage as much as I can into the windwalker monk. I see that I can get a stun on the healer. He still has trinket and I just send it. I'm going to go ahead and parry the fist of fury and the second eye for an eye while swifty cheap shots into a kidney shot on the images. Really good play by Swifty there. Uh, I'm going to walk in on the Windwalker Monk here. He gets Ray of Hope, and Ray is kind of fading. It's getting negative, and right at the end, it turns negative, and we're able to kill him during the Ray, while the Priestess was not able to top him for some reason. He wasn't in CC either, um, but we just did mega damn right there. So the next game, let's see, what do we got next? Next team here, Fury Warrior H-Pal. Um, Pretty pretty standard comp you see nowadays is Fury War healer, healer, Rogue Healer, Hunter Healer. So we go ahead and sap the H-Pal, open up on the Fury War. He Blade Storms our opener and fears us both. Uh, so he's stopping our opener, but we didn't commit any CDs. I go ahead and stun the H-Pal into a parry in uh, big damage on the Fury War. I Blood of Purge off the Blessing of Protection and kick the Fleshcraft and then get sacked during bubble. So likely not going to kill him there. So I'm looking to try and make some distance. If possible, but Swifty goes in, kidney shots him, and pops a Vendetta Sepsis. Uh, so they do take a lot of damage here. And they are actually complete, completely out of defensive cooldowns. Rally Cry is falling, so I'm going to stun as Rally falls. And uh, I sacked Swifty to try and help him survive as he gets away. Second Bop comes off cooldown right here, and I do not have Purge for it. So unfortunately, they are going to be able to recover here. But Swifty's in the process of getting a re stealth. Um, let's see here. I go ahead and bop Swifty because I wanted him to be able to reset stacks and he half kidneys the warrior here or a uh, three point kidney or four point kidney. Not quite sure. But he is almost gets the re and then the paladin stops him, unfortunately. Uh, I do just toss a bunch of healing on the Swifty here, but unfortunately I get in caps, which is really sketchy because we have nothing left to stop them from killing Swifty. Uh, coming out of this, Swifty Shadow, it looks like he Shadow Stepped to me or sprinted away and was able to get away. He gets bolted right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe freedom him if I can. But the Warrior, for some reason, swaps off Swifty, which lets me get a few heals onto him. I'm going to go ahead and freedom him while he uh, charges him. And then Swifty is able to run away. 
and try and line up sight as much as possible. Seeing a small window of opportunity here where they both don't have trinkets and we might be able to kill in a kidney hodge. So I'm uh, walking away. Swifty gets the re and I heal him up to full, which is really nice. And I'm just going to kite away and wait for our cooldowns here. Uh, the warrior connects, so I pop eye for an eye. I don't have too much else, but I do have emblem and shield of vengeance coming off cooldown really shortly. I walk away from the warrior, kiting while we wait. The uh, enemy paladin pops his avenging wrath, and that lets me uh, just line up my wings as his wings are going to fall. I go ahead and stun him right here, and I am going to get ready to pop my damage. We go in for the one shot on the warrior, doing big damage. He has his um, enrage regen come off cooldown, but Swifty kidneys it. Goes in with the sepsis. We're doing big damage, shrink it out of the fear, and down the fury warrior goes. All right, next game is against Affliction Lock, Disc Priest. Um, we're just going to go in and do big damage. I stun the Disc Priest right away. He trinkets my Hodge into a full blind, which lets us get a full kidney into a Vendetta Winks go on the uh, Affliction Lock. We're just going to bang him right through the Pain Suppression, and down he goes. Yeah, that's the uh, downside of trinketing a Hodge instantly into a full blind. All right, this next game is once again against an Assassination Rogue. Um, common theme throughout Two's bracket in the upper 1800s to 2900s is uh, definitely Acer Rogues, Outlaw Rogues, and Survival Hunters. And uh, I'd argue that that's actually just most of the entire bracket. Give or take a few Fury Warriors every now and then. So we're going to start off by uh, popping our damage onto the H-Pal and doing as much as we can. Um, I am Vendetted right here, so I'm going to actually go ahead and bot myself, get rid of the Vendetta. Maybe I could have relied on uh, some of Swifty's cooldowns now that he's on his prot, like a queen or something like that. But I just sent the bop right away, and it is what it is. Maybe he'll uh, help me out on the next go. Uh, we are banging into this h pal who has to trinket in the hard cast, very risky hard cast right in front of Swifty, um, a flash heal. So I go ahead and get out of the, uh, the CC that I was just in and get disarmed, unfortunately. And it looks like he's, uh, he's doing okay, but we're going to go into a little maintenance phase here where we try to get as much pressure as we can while simultaneously not dropping too low. Uh, they do overlap blind and kidney, um, but that is it's fine for them. I'm going to get out of this and start tossing a bunch of healing on myself. So to Swifty, very nice. Um... For those of you that aren't aware, prot healing is nerfed now by uh, about 80% from your word of glory on your teammates. So it is, uh, it's not, not nearly as good as it was in the beginning of the expansion. It's self-healing is still really, really good, but it's teammate healing is uh, not what it once was. There's the next Vendetta. I'm going to go ahead and bubble the Vendetta off, um, which leaves us with a Guardian of Ancient Queens for the last Vendetta or another bop by Swifty. I, I think he is playing the short... Um, for Blessing of Protection. I do go ahead and Blood Elf off the Divine Favor into a kick. And uh, that lets him Fleshcraft, which is, that's fine. Hit him with a full Hodge, and down he goes. And uh, that should be the match. Uh, I had a really fun time playing with Swifty on his alts, and I hope to play more in the future. Um, thank you again to him for, uh, you know, all the videos throughout the years. I to him a few times on Twitch. Um, but the guy is like an all-time WoW legend. Um, and it was an honor playing with him. All right, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter. And I will see you all next video. Peace.